Watch out. Here comes wired in. I'm out of here. Hi, I'm Lily Tomlin. I'm a Pac-Man freak. It's all right. I can talk about it now. Of course, there was a time when I couldn't. As I look back on it, I think it all started that Christmas when someone gave me a digital watch. Then came a Sony Walkman, a cordless telephone, a talking calculator. It wasn't any time at all. I, I started playing video games. I thought I could handle it. I really did. Then one morning, I woke up on the floor of a video arcade. Everything was a blank. I just couldn't afford this kind of public humiliation again. That's when I brought Pac-Man into my own home. I think this is just a first step. I mean, this is the fun part of computers. This is, you know, what gets people out. This is familiarizing people that something this big could entertain you if you can learn from it. It's a sport in a lot of ways. We don't have sounds yet, so I have to make up my own. In one sense, we are trying to create an addictive device. It's sort of like trying to invent drugs or something. It's a very delicate balance between uh, letting them play forever and just stealing their quarters and kicking them off as quickly as possible. Does anyone dare challenge my imperial fleet? Well, I'm a little bit resigned to the fact that one of the things about being a teenager is the thing to do is congregate where all of your friends congregate. Um, it used to be the uh, Oscars drive-in when I was a teenager, and then it was the skating rink that was the place to congregate, and now it just happens to be the game arcade. It's a real rush to go in into an uh, arcade and watch kids plopping quarters into my machine and just stand back there. You don't go up and introduce yourself or anything, but realize that, yes, you have done something. To me, it's like Las Vegas. When you hear that ding, ding, ding and all that noise, it's, it's stimulating. Remember, it all starts with a harmless quarter, but it can turn to tragedy just like that. Can I play now?